Hey guys, this is Alec with Gooth Blades. I thought I'd show you my grinding jig, how I make my knife blades. Uh, someone asked a question about it, so I thought I'd uh, show you guys how it works. Uh, first, I'd like to show you actually my old one. This one required that I tilt the table on my belt sander um, to the right angle. But the problem with this one is, and this is all made out of aluminum with a couple screws, so you can see here, a little handle on it, you know, it's pretty rudimentary. But this one required that I had, because my table does not tilt forward towards, uh, angle towards the belt, I had to grade a grind bevel down, or the, the tip down, or the, the edge down. And that, that was fine for my first uh, couple knives, um, but then I realized that I could not see the the edge and I could not see if it was getting overheated so I did burn a few edges um, and I mean this does transfer heat really well but the edge once you're grinding away I mean the edge isn't actually touching the aluminum um, so that's when I ran into to that problem and decided to make this which I found um, a couple different options online um, you know searching knife forms and stuff a couple different knife makers had some really great designs um, and this kind of adapted um, pretty closely, um, and I'll put the link in the show notes. Uh, so I took this, this is just a flat plate on the bottom, flat plate of steel. I don't know, maybe that's eighth inch thick. Um, this center piece is aluminum, and this piece is aluminum. And I did that because I wanted it to be a heat sink to transfer the heat uh, from grinding through the, and I think it does really help. And this is all painted also so that I can just dunk it right into the water. Um, and don't have to worry about it rusting. And it's holed up pretty well. There's a little bit of rust on the bottom. And this is uh, UHMV, I forget the, the abbreviation for it, ultra high molecular weight plastic on the bottom. And that is definitely a must. It helps it slide around pretty easily and just a couple bolts welded on um, as handles. Um, it was hard to build. Uh, it was kind of a pain. I'm not a great welder by any means and I have a crappy Harbor Freight welder. Um, anyway, so I'll show you guys how it works. So, you take your knife, um, and since this one tilts forward, you don't need to tilt your belt sander table at all. And you just slide it in the skeletonized handle. You have to drill a couple holes in your blade it's somewhere um, to be able to hold it. So you tighten that one down. Tighten this one down. And you set it on your table, belt sander table. Use a digital angle gauge. I use the Wixley digital angle gauge. It works really well. I'm happy with it. And attach it like that. And this is how you get repeatable angles because the problem with this style um, jig is that it's very hard to get repeatable angles. Um, and I wasn't sure how I was going to do this at first because I did make a little indicator on here um, that would hope I was thinking maybe I'd scratch the lines in and then tighten this nut right here. Um, and hopefully it would hold it. But it definitely was not working accurately. Um, so that's when I, I already had this Wixley digital angle gauge and it works perfect. I hold it on there. Um, I can get it within a couple degrees and just a couple, I, I mean a couple point degrees, you know, a couple tenths of a degree, I guess. Um, I don't know degrees that well. Yeah, it goes to tenths of degrees. So I can get it pretty darn close. Um, and it, as soon as I put it on the belt sander, it will even it out, um, even in higher grits where it's not taking off very much. So you set it, set it to the angle that you want. I write that angle down so I don't forget it. And then you're good. Good with grinding. And it doesn't usually sit like this. It just, I, I just put it in here real quick for a demonstration. Um, and that's how it works. And you tighten this down on the side. Tighten that down. And to adjust it, you unlock this nut and either turn the screw in, lower or increases the angle or you turn the screw out which gives it a, a you know closer to 90 degrees um, anyway someone asked a question about it and so I wanted to show them I know uh, I know my movies are my videos are not very high quality yet um, hopefully I'll be getting a new camera soon I'm just doing all this on my iPad but uh, I hope I answer some questions all right have a good day